This is an extensive tier list where we will be ranking every single Dead by Daylight killer based on eight different categories. Appearance, animations, sound design, terror radius, menu music, chase music, cosmetics, and Mori. These eight categories combine together to create the aesthetic of the killer, and a lot of it tends to go unnoticed or unappreciated, especially for killers that have really bad gameplay design, so I wanted to shine light on the more artistic side of DVD. For each category, I will give it a score from 1 to 5. 5 goes beyond expectations, 4 is amazing, 3 is good but it's lacking something to make it great, 2 is decent or average, and 1 is either bad, outdated, too simple, or doesn't apply to the category. So for example, if the killer has the default menu music, then it'll get a 1 in that category. This is just to reward the characters where the devs actually create their own unique themes. Each killer will get their score totaled, and it'll be placed onto this tier list. Obviously, this list is entirely subjective, but my feelings towards certain killers and their gameplay do not in any way affect their scores. Since I am going to be cutting between me talking and music, I'm going to have this little icon appear on the bottom right of your screen with a sound effect, so you know when music is about to play so you don't get jump scared by it. This is going to be a long video, so strap in and go grab some popcorn. We are going to be going in order of release date. So the first killer is, of course, the Trapper. For Trapper's appearance, I have to give this a 2. I don't think it's necessarily bad, so to speak. That's why I didn't give it a 1, but it is extremely basic. It's literally just a guy with a mask. There's not much special to it. Like, the mask is iconic, don't get me wrong, and I do love these kind of spikes coming out of his shoulder and stuff, but overall, he's just super, super basic, so I couldn't give him a higher score than that, and you'll see why as we get to some of the killers later on this list. For animations, I gotta give this a one. It's just so simple, and it makes sense that the animations are kind of bad and kind of basic because this was the first killer that they ever made. So I don't necessarily expect them to have good animations. And you'll see this is a pretty common theme throughout this video. As they get more and more skills and hire more people, you'll see that a lot of these tiers tend to get higher scores. For sound design though, I'm actually gonna give this one a three. I think they did a very good job for this killer from his breathing sounds to the trap sounds. They even have a separate trap sound if you're using padded jaws, the brown add-on. So although it's relatively simple, I do think the bear trap sounds really make this killer more cinematic in a way. And then obviously for terror radius and menu music and chase music, they're all going to be one because, you know, he has the default. For cosmetics though, I'm actually going to give this a three. There are a lot of cosmetics that I do like. Obviously there's Naughty Bear. I don't really personally like Naughty Bear. I think it looks really goofy. I mean, he's supposed to, but still. But there are some pretty sick cosmetics. Like this one's cool. This one's really cool. It's like bone armor. You know, there's a, there's, there's a lot of very creative ones. Obviously, there's some from the Battle Pass that don't show up in the store, but uh, this is one of my favorite ones. And then even his simpler ones are pretty cool, just because he looks like a completely different killer. This one is fire. So overall, solid cosmetics. I just wish that there were a little more that completely changed the way he looks, if that makes sense. So although he has a second Mori in his skin that is still locked behind a paywall, so I'm not going to count it towards this, because if you don't like the skin, you won't be using the Mori. So based on his regular Mori, obviously it's going to be a one. It is probably the most most basic Mori in the entire game. It is so simple and so bad. And hopefully they go back and kind of um, rework it, or at least give us another option that's not in the form of a cosmetic. So this totals him to 14 points which unfortunately puts him at the complete bottom of the tier list. Okay, moving on to the Wraith. Wraith is definitely a bit of a step up from Trapper. I do like the design a bit better. Like he has that kind of ghost-like quality with this kind of fabric, this ripped fabric. And I and I love, and I love, stop looking around. And I love the face paint. I think it really adds to his character. On top of the weapon being the spine and the skull of his boss or whatever it was in the lore. Like that's pretty cool. But still, he's very, very basic. He's just a human, humanoid killer. Um, um, so I can't give it much higher than a two. Animations. His animations are, again, very simple, but I do think the kind of cloaking and uncloaking works really well, and that is considered an animation. You know, the little embers that burn up as he's going in and out of cloak. So I am going to give this one a two. I do think the rest of it is a bit basic, but I do think that the animations work really well for this character, even with the way he runs. For sound design, I am going to give this one a three. I think he has great sound design. He has the iconic bell sound. The sounds of those embers when you're cloaking and uncloaking are pretty simple. Sick. And his breathing is really, really cool. You can hear it when he's completely cloaked. You can hear it when he's using Silent Bell. So it's a great way to know where he is, even if he's stealthed. It adds a lot of character to his kit. Plus the uncloaking and cloaking sounds are pretty solid. And then again, unfortunately, we have to give him three ones in a row because he has all the default stuff. Cosmetics, however, I'm going to give a four. I think he has some of the coolest cosmetics in the game. Like there, there's just a large variety and they're all very, very different. I don't like that one. That one's disgusting. But they're still like, like this one's sick. There's so many that are just unbelievably cool and the weapons completely change as well, which I like a lot. This is one of my favorites. So yeah, a lot of creativity with these 
and there's just a, a huge variety. Even with the default recolors, they look very, very good on him. And lastly, you all know the more is getting a one. It's 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 just basic. It's it's so basic. It's it's very, very nothing. So that gives him a total of 15 points, which places him, unfortunately, right next to Trapper. And I promise we're not going in order from F tier to S tier. It's just kind of a coincidence that they're going in order right now. Before we move on to the next killer, a quick word from our sponsor. Some of you may not know what this is, so let me tell you a bit about it. If you want to look presentable and get that irresistibly clean shave, Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra will do just that. It's super easy to use and it's super easy to clean since it's waterproof, so you can just run water over it to get the hairs out. It also has two different easily switchable blades, a trimmer blade and a foil blade to get the tiny hairs that are so close to your skin that many other products just can't get. <laughs> think of the trimmer blade like your skill in DVD and think of the foil blade as no ed. You know you won't be able to get everything with just the trimmer blade, so you need to throw no ed on to finish the job. Now this is what you really need. Not only does it come with the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra, we got the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, we got the Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion, and the Crop Preserver Deodorant, which provide necessary comfort for the, the darker areas. I can get you guys a really sweet deal of 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts, which are these high quality, extremely comfortable boxers, and this t-shirt that I'm wearing. Just go to the link in the description or in the pinned comment below and use this promo code at checkout. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. All right, moving on to the hillbilly. Again, another step up in terms of quality, I would say. Appearance-wise, he's getting a bit more into the horror, the way his arms have kind of blisters and the way his face is deforming and the weird like splotches of hair on his shoulder and all of the stitch marks and stuff. It kind of has this uh, body horror element to it, which I, which I kind of like. He's still a pretty basic humanoid killer, but I do like this one a lot better than the last two. So I'm, I'm gonna give his appearance a three. For animations, I am gonna give it a two. I do do think that his animations are a bit of a step up from the previous killers. I think the way he walks is really interesting and fits his character very well. And of course, all of his chainsaw animations where he bumps into something or when he hits you or any of that stuff, even just this on the main menu, like looks great. <laughs> so they're all very basic, but they're not like so basic to the point where I'd give them a one. Sound design, I'm going to give this a three. Again, good sound design, like pretty solid. Nothing extraordinary, but you know, chainsaw sounds. I don't really see how you could mess that up. I will say I do not really like the that he does now when he starts his chainsaw. I liked it a lot better back in the day when he didn't have that. And he has the same breathing sound effect as the Wraith, just in a different pitch. So, you know, if I like it on Wraith, I'm gonna like it on Billy. Overall, pretty solid sound design. Now, this is where we get to the point where they have different music for different things. So his tear radius, I'm gonna give this a two. So I do really like when it gets to kind of this part where it's kind of more of the like intense close tear radius music. But if we go back to kind of the beginning, it's just a little too simple for me. There's not much going on here, and I kind of wish that it was a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to give that a two. For menu music, I'm just not really a huge fan. It's just kind of, I would almost rather have the default music, <laughs> you know? I do really like that they took kind of the default menu music and made it sound almost like a chainsaw in the music. Like it's really creative, but it just it just doesn't really sound great. So I'm unfortunately going to give that a one. And then for chase music, it's kind of the same thing. It's a little too repetitive for my liking, and it's kind of almost hard to listen to in a way. So I'm going to give Chase Music a two. And then for cosmetics, he has some good ones, I will say, but most of them are just like kind of weird or too basic for my liking. Like a lot of these, these are all purples, but they're basically just him with different clothes and different skin. I do like that they changed the weapon to something completely different. That is a very, very nice touch. Like this one's a shotgun and this one's like something related to fireworks. I'm not totally sure. So I do like the weapon changes. They are extremely bulky though. Like, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> uh, but overall, they're a 
little bit too basic for me. So I'm going to give cosmetics a two. And then for his Mario, of course, it's a step up because he actually uses his power instead of using just his M1. But it's still so basic. He literally just puts his saw into the survivor and that's about it. There's there's not much to it. So I'm going to give that a one. That totals him to 16, which of course puts him in the F tier. But you got to remember, these were the first killers in the game. So it makes sense that they're at the bottom because they hadn't really developed their skills or developed their team to make all of these eight categories good, you know? So I'm not bashing on them. It's just the ones later on this list just get so much better. The next killer is the nurse. And this is what I mean. Appearance, I'm giving a four. The way they integrated kind of nurse clothing into her kit with a bone saw as her weapon while still making her kind of scary and ghost-like with the covered mask and the kind of bloody dried blood dirt stuff that's, you know, all over her body. I think she looks incredible and really, really fits the vibe of DVD. Animations, I'm going to give this a four as well. The way she has like all the birdie stuff on her hand when she goes to teleport and the way she teleports, how the FOV widens and goes in as she reaches her destination, the little floating orbs on her hand when she's holding her power. All of it is just so, so cool. I think they did a fantastic job on this killer. And of course, sound design, like undoubtedly is is a five. Like it's so good. The way she screeches and screams because it's painful for her to blink is so unbelievably cool. And just like, imagine you never knew what this killer was and hearing these screeches from the other side of the map. Like that would be terrifying. When this killer came out, I'm sure she was one of the scariest killers in the game. So very, very cool sound design. So for Terror Radius, it starts off a little bit bland where it's just kind of a repetitive hitting sound almost. But the close Terror Radius music, when she gets close, this like, I almost want to say that's cello, maybe? I'm not very into music, so I don't really know. But this part where she's close is so good. It's so, so good. It works perfectly for the Terror Radius. So I'm going to give that a four. I think that part, that section of the Terror Radius music, single-handedly carries the score for this one. For menu music, I do really like it, but it is a little simple. I am going to give this one a three. I think it does a fantastic job of kind of showing the mystery and the intrigue of this character, but overall, there's not much happening. I think it perfectly encapsulates her character though, so it works very well. And then for chase music, it's just, I don't like it. Like it's, it's kind of hard to listen to and it's not very interesting. So I, I, I have to give chase music a two, unfortunately. Cosmetics though, I'm giving a four. Like these cosmetics are so, there's so many good ones. Like this one's okay, but like this one is so sick. That is so cool. Um, not a huge fan of this, but you know, there's a lot, a lot of different ones. All of these, I really, really like all of these. Even her recolors look really, really good. Like this one is fire for being only 1800 iridescent shards. So very, very cool cosmetics. I like them a lot. And then we get to her Mori. Unfortunately, her Mori is again, really sick simple. It's just her choking the survivor. I do like the fact that she closes their eyes. I think that's a cool touch, but again, there's not much happening besides her choking. So I am unfortunately going to give that a one, but that totals her to 27 points, which puts her at the very top of B tier. All right. Moving on to the shape. So these licensed killers are really hard to rank based on kind of their appearance because like they all look great. They all look fantastic in terms of what they look like in the movies or in the games or wherever they're from. So I'm going to try to base them on kind of how well they fit in DVD and how interesting they look for the overall vibe of DVD. So obviously we're going to have a lot of disagreements on this, but that's okay. So for Myers, he is super basic, super, super basic, but I do think he fits in DVD really well. So I I kind of average it out to a score of three. I think the expressionless mask works very well, but he is wearing just kind of like a jumpsuit and the mask, and that's about it. For animations, I have to give this a one. He probably has some of the most basic animations in the entire game. I like the outline on the screen when you're stalking. I think that's cool, but overall, like he's just kind of swinging a knife. There's not, <laughs> there's not very much to it. Sound design, I'm going to give it a two. I don't think it's necessarily bad, but there's not much going on besides his breathing and the occasional like piano riff that plays um, with the the iconic theme. I think the stalking sound effects are cool, but they're not above and beyond like I would like to see. For the terror radius though, I am giving this a four. I think the way it builds perfectly encapsulates this character. It's it, And it's also kind of intense feeling. I mean, I know we're desensitized to it now, but when this killer came out and this terror radius was playing, it sounds cool. Like it sounds, it sounds kind of scary.
I do think the high-pitched kind of tinging sound gets a little bit old when he's really close. So that's why I didn't give it a five, but it is overall a very solid tear radius. Menu music, again, I have to give it a one. It's just the, you know, default menu music. It does have the short iconic piano bit at the beginning, but after that plays for like five seconds or whatever, it just goes to the default. And then chase music, I'm giving it a three. Again, it does have all of the elements that are good from the tear radius, but it has that kind of high-pitched tinging sound, which in my opinion ruins it a little bit, but it is kind of an iconic sound, so I can't give it lower than a three. For cosmetics though, you may think that I'm going to give him a one because he only has this and a couple of weapons, but I do really like all of these cosmetics. I like the fact that the weapon can be completely different. A pipe versus a screwdriver thing versus a kitchen knife. They're all very, very different. And this is such an iconic outfit for this character. So I actually think the cosmetics work really well and I'm going to give this one a two. And then for his Mori, although he has two Moris with his tombstone and his regular Mori, I do still think that it's super, super basic. But as you'll see, as we continue on, the Moris are going to get a lot better, but unfortunately I am giving this a one. So that totals him at 17 points, which places him in the middle of D tier. All right, moving on to the hack. I feel like this is the killer where they start to get kind of better at the overall package of aesthetics, where they become more well-rounded in their kind of art department from animations to sound design and all that. So hag, she's so short on the screen, but hag is getting an appearance of three. I still think she's a little basic, but I do really like the fact that she's almost more alien looking in a way. And she really encapsulates the kind of dirty, muddy vibe that they're going for. I think it works really well. And it's it's, it's interesting that you can kind of see the bones and stuff as a part of her body, as though she's decaying and rotting. I think it works great for her, especially with her attacking hand being so much bigger than her other hand. I think that's a really cool touch. For animations, I'm going to give this one a three. Again, they're not like, above and beyond, but I think the animation of her going into the ground and coming out of her phantasms are great. I think the way she stands and walks really fits her character. And of course, placing the traps just looks, it just looks the way it's supposed to, you know what I mean? Like it just works so well for her character, but there's nothing like extra special about them. So that's why I'm only giving it a three. Sound design is also getting a three. I think they definitely stepped it up from the previous killers, except for Nurse, obviously, because the way she breathes almost makes it sound like she's underwater kind Kind of, which works because she's supposed to be like this, this muddy killer, so to speak. And I think the trap sounds are good. They give that jump scare effect, but they're not necessarily great. And you'll see later that the, the jump scare sound effects definitely get better on later killers, but she doesn't have a lot of sound design to work with just her breathing and her teleport sounds. So there's not much they could do, which is why I'm giving it a three. I'm going to give Terra Radius a three as well. I love the drums. I think it fits her so well, although it's a little basic, it's still like kind of a, it almost feels like battle drums in a way, like something Something big is coming, you know what I mean? Yes, it's simple, but the simplicity works really well for this character, especially when she gets closer. I love the faster paced sounds that kind of enter the terror radius. And then for menu music, this is going to have to be a five. I think the menu music works so well, and it's the perfect mixture of fitting the character, using the original like DBD melody, along with fitting the game in its entirety and sounding good. I absolutely love her menu music. It's so good. It's one of my favorite menu musics in the game. And then we come to her chase music, which is unfortunately so repetitive that I can't give it more than, I can't give it more than a two. Like it, it stripped away all of the good elements from the regular Terror Radius music and just turned it into like, just a really repetitive drum sound, which works for chase music, which is why I'm not giving it a one, but it's just, I kind of had higher expectations from the Terror Radius itself. I think there was a lot more that you could do with it to make it more interesting. For cosmetics, I'm going to give it a three. I think she has some really good cosmetics, but a lot of them are just kind of meh. Like this is a purple and it's just, it doesn't really change her that much. There's stuff like this, which is cool, but it just, it's just, a, it's a bit much for me. I like stuff like this where it adds a ton and it really fits her vibe. Sorry that it's not like perfectly centered there, but even her recolors are really cool. And of course she has some from the, the rift and stuff that are pretty sick. I hate this, but overall, like there's a couple that I really like. I really like this one. 
But other than that, like most of them are just kind of too weird for my liking. And then we get to her Mori, which is the first Mori in the game that's actually really cool. She's a cannibal in her lore, so it makes sense that she, you know, goes in and tries to eat them, basically. So I have to give her Mori a four. It is very, very cool, fits her character perfectly, and it's pretty brutal too. So that totals her at 26, placing her at the bottom of the B tier. Moving on to the Doctor. I'm going to give Doctor's appearance a four. I think they did a fantastic job at making him seem sadistic and seem like absolutely insane. The way his eyes are pried open and his mouth is pried open just works so well. He fits the vibe of DBD very well. And yes, he's like very humanoid and a regular person, but they were able to go that extra mile to make him feel like an actual crazy, insane individual. Plus all the sparks coming out of the wires on his skin are such a nice touch. For animations, I'm going to give this a three. I really like all of the animations, the way his hands have electricity in them as he's doing his static blast and the electricity coming from the ground whenever he does his static shock. It's all very, very cool and works really well, but it is a little simple, which is why I don't want to give it anything above a three. For sound design, I have to give this a four. His laughs are iconic. All of these static -y sound effects that you get when you, you know, run into one of the hallucinations, the way his static shock sounds on the other side of the map is really cool. And even the sounds when you're in tier three madness, just they, they just work so well. Everything comes together to create this really interesting sounding killer. And I, I like it a lot. For Terror Radius, I'm going to give this a three. It's a little hard to listen to, especially as he gets closer. But the kind of droning sound in the background when he's a little bit far away, I think works really well. But unfortunately, I can't give it above a three because when he gets close, it's a little hard to listen to. Menu music. It starts off okay, right? I don't really personally like the beginning of the menu music. But as it goes on, it gets so unbelievably cool. Like this middle section is great. It it fits him so well. It almost sounds like a terror radius in the menu music. And then when it gets to this part. I love this. I don't know why, but this is so much better than the beginning that I just, I couldn't give this below a four. It's so unbelievably good. Chase music, although it's repetitive and it's a little bit harder to listen to, I still think it works super well for this character. I do think it's only good though. I don't think it's great. So I am going to give it a three. Like I don't have too many complaints with it, but I don't have too many praises either, if that makes sense. For cosmetics, I'm actually going to give him a four. He has very, very cool and unique cosmetics. Like he has a Pharaoh, which I, I think this one's new with Slipknot that just came out literally today. So I haven't seen that one, but it's pretty sick. He has the looksy one. He has, you know, all sorts of very cool stuff that completely changed the way he looks as well as completely changing his weapon too. And I think it all works very, very well. This is one of my favorites. So yeah, some of the coolest cosmetics in the game. And again, he's one of those killers that works really well with these recolors too especially this dark one. I think that fits him very well. And then for Mori, unfortunately, I am going to give it a two. It's definitely a step down from Hags. I think it's cool though, the way that he uses his electricity to almost fry the person's brain and like fry their face. You know, on paper, it's great and it sounds really cool, but in practice in the game, it just kind of happens, but nothing is shown, which is fine because it's a video game, but I expect a little bit more out of this extremely insane killer. You know what I mean? So that totals him at, 27 points, which places him in the top of B tier. Moving on to the Huntress. Appearance, I am giving her a four. Again, she's pretty basic, but she's so iconic. The way her bunny mask looks with the kind of headdress thing on the back and everything about her works so well for her because it looks like everything is makeshift. It looks like she created all of this clothing. Absolutely iconic character design. Animations though, not so much. I'm going to give it a two. I don't think she necessarily has anything that great 
great, but I do think her menu animations are sick. The way she pulls out her hatchet and flips it around like you just saw, they're really, really cool. But like in game, everything's just kind of basic, which, you know, makes sense. There's not much you could do with her, I guess, but there's nothing totally that stands out. Sound design, I have to give this a four. The sounds of everything in her kit are just super, super satisfying. The sound of you hitting a survivor across the map and the shing sound that happens when you charge your hatchet and even the sound effect of the hatchet going by you, like if you're a survivor, for example, it works right and is actually quite scary if you, you know, don't expect a hatchet to be coming your way. And then terror radius, I am including lullabies as a part of the terror radius section instead of the sound design section. And terror radius, of course, has to be a four. Like, yeah, she has the basic terror radius, but her lullaby is probably, I would say the most iconic thing in this game is her, her lullaby. It's so, it's such a unique thing to her and makes her really feel like her own character, if that makes sense. Na, 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 na. I absolutely love her lullaby, so I can't I can't give Terra Radius anything under a four. Menu music, I have to give this a four as well, especially towards the end. It gets really, really cool. It's simple. It works well as menu music, but it still has that kind of war vibe that I was talking about earlier with Hag, which fits Huntress even better because, you know, all of her lore took place during some sort of war. I don't exactly remember. I'm not that big into the lore. But the way it sounds almost sounds like a lullaby as well, which I think was a really nice detail. So yeah, absolutely fire menu music. And then chase music, of course, she has the default chase music, so I have to give this a one. And then for cosmetics, I am going to give cosmetics a three. I don't think they're bad, but I don't think a lot of them are that great either, personally. Like there's, there's a bunch of unique stuff, but it's just a little much for me. Like I would personally never buy this. I think it's kind of weird and this is just way too much, but stuff like this, like Awesome, awesome, awesome. I personally really like the minimalist style, um, as you'll see with a lot of my rankings on these cosmetics. But again, it's not bad by any means. All right, moving on to her Mori. Her Mori, although basic, I am going to give it a two purely because it's almost a little more gruesome. The way the hatchet gets stuck in the survivor and she has to like, she kind of struggles to pull it out and like how the hatchet gets stuck to the survivor. I think it actually adds a lot of character to the Mori, even though it's basic. So I don't want to give it a one. This gives her a total of 24 points, which plays is her in the C tier. All right, moving on to Bubba. Appearance, I'm going to give him a three. Nothing good, nothing bad necessarily. He just looks like a regular person, but I do really like the yellow color scheme of him, as well as obviously the, you know, face of skin. It definitely looks creepy. For animations, I'm going to give him a two. I don't think there's anything that special about them. It's just kind of him sweeping his chainsaw. The reason I'm not giving it a one though is because his tantrum is cool and the way he walks is just, it fits his character so well. I don't, I don't really know what it is. Is. And another thing that I don't know if you can really see it, but you can see him licking his teeth or licking his lips or something in the main menu, which is really, it's a cool detail that not a lot of people notice, but you know, it makes sense since he is a cannibal that he'd be like hungry, <laughs> you know, cool, cool touch for sure. For sound design, I'm going to give this a three. I think it's, you know, it's great. Again, it's, it's a chainsaw, so you can't really go wrong with a chainsaw, but the sounds that he actually makes and when he's in tantrum and when he hits a wall and stuff, they're all great, but at no fault to their own, there's not really a way for them to make Make it more interesting, so to speak, since he's such a basic character. But I do want to give points for like a lot of creativity, which you'll see with a lot of different killers, more unique killers later on this list. And you'll probably notice that for most licensed characters, they just don't get as high of scores because they tend to be limited with their creativity. And I will absolutely reward the devs if they're creative with their designs. So a lot of the more original killers will probably be towards the top. For Terra Radius, I have to give this a one and the menu music and the chase music. Again, it's all default. For cosmetics, I'm giving this a two. He doesn't have a lot. He only has two different skins, but the fact that they're not sets is really nice. So you can mix and match. Like even just having this one singular shirt is great. And having these different weapons and stuff is great. So it's not amazing by any means, but I do personally like the options presented to us. And then for his Mori, it is very simple, but I'm not going to give it a one. I'm going to give it a two just because it is so gruesome. They don't actually show the body like being split. Obviously that's a good thing because I, <laughs> it would probably get banned in a lot of places, but using the chainsaw in such a gruesome way just 
fits his character so well. And it's stuff that he, I assume, does in the movies. I've never seen the movies, but I assume he does that in the movies. Pretty solid, but uh, it's it's pretty basic. So that totals him at 15 points, which places him at the bottom of D tier. Next up is Freddy. Look at the short little guy. Appearance, I'm going to give a three. It's, it's, so, it's so hard to rank the appearance of these characters, but I do think he fits DBD really well. And I absolutely love the knife hands. I, I love the knife hands. They're great. For animations, I'm going to give this a three. The way the snares have like the little hands inside of them is very, very cool. The way he wiggles his knives during the match is great. And the way he kind of comes up from the ground near generator when he's teleporting to it is cool. However, I kind of wish there was a bit more with his teleport animation and with his hit cooldown animation. It's 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 a little basic, which um, it kind of works for this character, but that's why I'm giving it a three. Sound design, I'm also giving a three. I would say the best aspects are the sound of his knives when he, you know, shakes them around or even when he scratches a break of a wall, it's so ear piercing, which kind of sucks, but it's like, you know, it's a good sound effect. And I think the best part is when a survivor comes in contact with a snare. I love the way it sounds like demonic with all the screams and the kind of entities that are in that blood. I really like the way that they did that. For terror radius, I'm going to give this a three. Again, he has the basic terror radius, but the lullaby in his dream world is very, very cool. The lullaby that's like being sung by children obviously fits his character, but also it's really creepy and it it really works, especially for being in the dream world. And then menu music and chase music, of course, are going to be a one because they're the defaults. And cosmetics, of course, is also going to be a one because he doesn't have a single cosmetic in the game. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give it a two. Yes, it's a direct reference to the movie, but it's so basic. Like nothing happens. He literally just stabs him once and that's it. That, that's, that's it. I feel like there's a lot more creativity that could be done with this killer considering the fact that he's a literal dream demon like there's I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I think they could do a lot more. So that totals him at 17 points, which places him in the D tier. Moving on to the pig. Appearance, I'm going to give this a three. Again, nothing necessarily wrong with it. Nothing necessarily bad with it. I'm not a huge fan of the pig mask. I think it's a little weird, but the entire Saw franchise was weird. So it, it, it kind of, I guess it works. Animations, I'm also going to give this a three. I don't think that her actual animations are that interesting, but the animations with her head traps and stuff are actually pretty cool. The way she gets down and puts it on them, as well as the survivors having to take it out of the boxes, and of course when the head pops, it all feels very true to Amanda's character. It, it's it's very human while also being so sadistic, and I I think that works very well. Plus, of course, the the head popping animation is absolutely brutal. So there's that too. Sound design, I'm gonna give this a three. Again, I don't really have anything to complain about, but there's nothing super great about it. I really like the shing sound of her knife whenever she pulls it out after she uncrouches. The lion roar is really weird, but I understand that it's, you know, it's from the movie, so that's why they did it. But the reason I have it so high is because of the ticking sound of the head traps. I think they did a great job with it to add a lot of pressure, especially when it gets later on when you're really trying to get that head trap off. And then of course, terror radius, menu music, and chase music, all default. Cosmetics are a two. She doesn't have that many, but they do completely change her outfit, which is kind of sick. And they're all, I believe, from the movies. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're all not great. I do like the fact that they don't come in sets so you can customize them the way you want, which is pretty sweet. And I really like this one particular weapon because it's like a drill that actually has drill sounds inside of the game. Um, So very, very, very cool. But that is uh, pretty much the only cool thing in my opinion. I wish they had a few more cosmetics for her. And then for Mori, gotta give this a one. Her Mori is terrible. I do like the way it stabs through their hand. I think that's awesome. But besides that, it's, it's so, it's so basic. So that totals her at 15 points, which places her in the D tier. Moving on to the clown. For appearance, I'm going to actually give him a three. Again, I think they did actually a very good job at making a clown work in the aesthetic of DBD. They didn't go the route of like this very stereotypical scary clown, which I kind of actually appreciate. I do think if he was a little bit creepier that I would have given him a higher score, but overall like good design and it fits the vibe of his like insane character. Animations, gotta give this a five. Like purely because of the knife flip that he does. It's so cool. I like I know 
know he has a lot of basic animations, but the knife flip is just, it's so sick. And the way he shakes his bottle when he's reloading and the way the gas spreads out, all of it's just very satisfying. I don't know how to describe it. Sound design, I'm actually going to give this a four. I think his laugh is absolutely iconic. I really like the sounds of his knife and also the sounds of his bottles just work very well, but the score is mostly because of his laugh. I'm not going to lie. Terror radius, I'm going to give this a two. I think it works really well, so I wouldn't change it because, you know, it has that carnival feel, but it's just, it's just kind of hard to listen to in my opinion. And unfortunately, the same goes with the menu music, so I'm also going to give it a two. I just don't like the carnival sounding instruments. They just don't really appeal to me. For chase music, I'm also going to give this a two. I, I will say I do like the drums that they add, but again, it's just like kind of annoying almost, but I don't think it's so awful that it deserves a one. Cosmetics, however, I'm going to give this a four. I think he surprisingly has fantastic cosmetics. Even if they're kind of a little basic, there's a lot of really unique things. Like, of course, Mr. Puddles. But like, even this, like, this is one of my favorite cosmetics on him. I don't own it, but I, I do really like it. And they all just... They're all kind of different types of clowns, which I like. And he actually has good recolors. I like them a lot. I especially like the fact that he has a lot of very different knives, like all sorts of different types. This one is definitely one of the best. But yeah, there's a there's a ton of customization with this guy. And for his Mori, I'm going to give it a three. It's a little basic, but it's a lot more unique than the other Moris that we have. And it, it really plays into his character with, you know, cutting the finger off and taking a lick out of it. This totals him at 25, which puts him at the bottom bottom of the B tier. Moving on to the spirit. Appearance like undoubtedly is a five. Like she has one of the coolest looks in the entire game. The way her arms and her leg are not even connected is so sick because not only does it fit with her lower, it just, it's cool to look at. All of the glass shards coming out of her body are so cool. The way she's presented is very ghostly and actually pretty scary. And I don't know, it's mostly from all of her limbs being completely separated. I think that is one of the coolest things in this game. For animations, I'm going to give this a four. Very, very cool animations with her hands from the first person view and the sword coming out of the glass shard that's in her wrist. Very cool touch. I do wish they kind of kept the animation where if she hit a wall, her sword would just shatter into a million pieces. I thought that was pretty sick, but it probably had some optimization issues. But yeah, animations are great. The way she like glitches and teleports and the way her facial expressions are. She's the first killer to have actual facial expressions. So just very cool, small details. And I can appreciate that a lot. Sound design, gonna be a five. Like the sounds she makes are are, are, you know, they're decent, but the teleporting sounds and the whooshing sounds and all of the kind of glass sounds of her sword, it's just such cool sound design. I absolutely love the aesthetics of this killer. Terror Radius, I'm going to give this a four. I think I would honestly give it a five, but the kind of like bell sounding thing towards the, um, towards the end of it, when she gets closer to you, kind of ruins it in my opinion. I really liked the subtlety throughout the rest of it. For menu music, I have to give this a five as well. It is so awesome and it really gives that kind of somber, depressive feeling, which is exactly what this character is, right? Like, I don't really, I don't really know the lore, but I know that she's like, she was damaged by like her, her dad or something. And it, it's the, the somber feeling just even without knowing the lore, you, you just know that there's something wrong with this character, if that makes sense. Absolutely love the instruments used. It all just works very well for a main menu theme. Chase music. I'm going to give this a two. I, I just don't, I don't really like the chase music. It's, it's hard to listen to. And when people were complaining about the ghost face chase music and that PTB, when he got reworked, it sounded like this to me like it was so repetitive and so like just ear screeching i i don't personally really like it
cosmetics though, gotta give it a five. I genuinely think that she has probably the best cosmetics in the game. Almost every single one of them have some sort of very, very cool aspect about them. Like they're so, so sick. They're so unbelievably cool. I don't really have that many problems with most of them, especially these. These are some of the coolest ones and they're really, really cheap. I will say the recolors are just kind of bland because you know, there's not much that you can do with the recolors unless you recolored her entire skin, but that kind of takes away from her entire character, right? But overall, absolutely love her cosmetics. And then her Mori is it's all right. I'm going to give it a two. I'm not giving it a one because she does at least incorporate her power with the teleporting and stuff, but she just kind of hits them with her weapon, which is very, very basic. And it's very similar to the OG killers. This totals her at 33 points, which places her in the second spot on this tier list. Absolutely phenomenally designed killer. All right, moving on to the Legion. Legion, I'm sorry. Gotta give your appearance a two. It's 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 just a dude in a hoodie. <laughs> That's all it is. I like the mask, but it's just a dude in a hoodie. Animations, also gonna give it two. Doesn't do anything special with the knife, just stabs people. I like the running animation. I think the running animation looks cool, which is why I'm not giving it a one. But other than that, there's literally nothing else. Sound design, also gonna give it a two. It's just breathing sounds and stabby sounds. Not much to it. <laughs> very, very basic. Tear radius, also gonna give it two. I just don't personally like rock slash metal that much, um, so it doesn't really work with me. But the reason I'm not giving it a one is because I do really like the kind of bass sound at the beginning when he's far away. I think it almost makes a heartbeat sound, which I, I actually really like. But again, it's it's a little too musical for my liking, if that makes sense. Which, you know, it obviously makes sense because of their lore and who these characters are, so it fits. Don't get me wrong, but I just, I'm not a big fan of it. Menu music, I'm going to give a three. Again, I don't really like rock slash metal, but I do actually think it works way better as menu music than it does as a terror radius, which is why I'm giving it a three. <laughs> And you'll see with a lot of these menu music scores that I have a bias towards menu music that tends to use the same Dead by Daylight theme and the, the melody of DBD's theme in their music because it still keeps the familiarity while still making it new, if that makes sense. For Chase Music, I'm going to give this a three. I don't necessarily think it's bad, but I don't think it's great either. But the reason it's higher up is because there's so many different Chase Musics that there's a lot of variation. I mean, it's the same with the Terror Radius, I guess, but it's more interesting in Chase itself. Cosmetics, though, I'm actually going to give this a four. I really like a lot of their cosmetics and the fact that, I mean, obviously there's this, but the fact that there's different ones for different characters, so you can be either female or male, it it's great. And I do think that it helps to make them a lot more interesting. Like, I love the look of this and the look of these are really cool as well. It's with all the like scrapes and the blood and stuff. Like, it actually has very cool cosmetics and there's a lot of variety too, which is kind of nice. I think the best part, in my opinion, is the different types of knives again, because that's what you're seeing in first person. Like so, so many cool knives that can completely change the feel of playing the character, if that makes sense. And then for his Mori, although it's basic, I am going to give it a three because I love the idea of the survivor fighting back. I think it works so well with the Legion because the Legion is just a dude with a hoodie. So like having the character fight back just makes a lot of sense logistically. And it's a really interesting touch that we don't see in many other killers besides like maybe the pig. So that totals them at 21 points, which places them in the D tier. Okay, moving on to the plague. Appearance, absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to give it a four. The kind of juxtaposition between her rotting, decaying, plagued body and the high priestess clothing is such a unique design. They absolutely went off with this design. I love it a lot. Animations, I'm going to give them a two. There's not that many special animations. I like the way this looks and that it dangles depending on, you know, actual gravity. Like it all makes sense, but there's not much interesting stuff that she actually does in game. Like the only thing she does is when she ingests her pools of blood and when she pukes, but like there's not 
<laughs> There's not much to it, if that makes sense. Sound design, though, I'm going to give this a four. I love the fact that she talks in a dead language. It adds a lot of character and personality to her and all of the cleansing sounds and the, the sound that happens when she goes into her power. It's all very satisfying and works very well for her theme. Terror radius, I'm giving this a one because it's the basic terror radius. Menu music, though, I'm giving a four. The menu music is fire. I'm not giving it a five because I do wish there was a little bit more, but it perfectly encapsulates kind of the feeling of her character character where it's like something went wrong, right? Like something clearly went wrong and this music perfectly portrays that. Just like the spirit, I love the more somber menu musics because it makes it, it, it gives it a lot more personality and you can kind of infer what's going on with the character. Chase music, again, giving it a one. Default cosmetics, I'm gonna give it a three. I'm not actually a big fan of her cosmetics because they all kind of look very, very similar, if that makes sense. So there's not like, yeah, they have different, you know, jewelry and clothing on, but they're all just kind of very similar. So I'm not personally a huge fan, although this mask is absolutely fire. I love this mask. And then for her Mori, I'm going to give it a three. It's super, super basic, but it is kind of cool the way that she uses her ability to literally like drown the survivor and puke. I do wish there was more to this Mori, but you know, it makes sense that she just uses her puke to puke on them. So that totals her at 22 points, which places her in the C tier. Moving on to the ghost face appearance. I'm going to give him a four. I know I've been giving pretty much every single licensed character a three, but ghost face is so much cooler than that. The way he's in all black clothing and the way kind of the fabric floats behind him, I don't actually think is in the movies. Like I think this is an original design decision from behavior themselves. It works so well. Like it's such a cool, unique thing. And then of course the mask is iconic and it's just such it's such a cool mask. Animations, I'm gonna give this a three. There's not a lot to him, but all of the animations flow together very fluidly because you have to be, you know, constantly crouching and leaning and doing all this stuff. As a survivor, especially seeing this ghost face like peeking around a corner is so scary. And I I just love the way the animations play into his power. Sound design, I'm gonna give it a three. There's nothing too special about his sound design, but again, the sounds are very satisfying. When you, you know, when you mark a survivor, the reveal sound is satisfying from the survivor's perspective. And and the sound when you go into your cloak is it just it hits. It just hits right, you know? Terror radius, giving this a three. I think it's fine, but when it gets to the part where he's really close to you, I actually like that a lot. I think it fits him very well, while also still maintaining the intensity of him, you know, being very close to you. For the menu music though, I'm gonna give it a two. I don't think there's that much that's special about it. It's a little bit hard to listen to, especially at the beginning. And I don't really see how it fits the vibe of this character, but I could be wrong. Chase music, I'm going to give it a three. It's by far miles better than the one that was in the PTB, but it is just very repetitive and there's not much interesting happening with it. So that's why I'm not giving it higher, but it does work very well for chase music and keeps up the intensity and the pacing of the chase. Cosmetics, I'm actually going to give this a four, which might be surprising because it doesn't have that many cosmetics. I, but almost every single one of them are cool. Like there is something to like about almost all of them. Like even the recolors are just so cool. Like they just, they, they're awesome. I especially love this one. And of course you get all the different types of knives, which again makes the killer feel different to play as from a first person perspective. I do wish there were more knives because a lot of them look very similar, but overall very, very cool cosmetics. And then for his Mori, like do do I, do I even need to do I even need to say it? It's a five. It is the best Mori in the game. He takes a selfie with his victim. That is so funny. And it just it works so well. I love it. It has so much character and it's just great. It's great. So that totals him at 27 points, which places him in the middle of B tier. All right, moving on to the Demogorgon. For appearance, I am absolutely undoubtedly giving this a five. Not only is he just a really cool looking creature, he fits DBD so well. He's like this creepy monster with very exaggerated humanoid features, but still feels extremely alien. All of it, like obviously DBD didn't design it, but it all works 
so well for this game. Animations, I have to give a four. They're incredible. Like the, the way he shreds, the way he opens his mouth when he screams, all of the kind of twitchy effects on him. It does a great job at making him feel alien and animalistic. So fantastic job on that. Sound design, of course, gonna be a five. The way he growls, the way he screams, the way there's, you know, kind of the upside down sounds when he's teleporting, the teleport sounds, like it all is just, it works so well together and it meshes to create this creepy, alien, unknown killer that we just don't understand. Terradius, this might be surprising, but I'm gonna give it a three. I like the beginning when he's further away. I think it has a very kind of 80s synthetic feel, but as he gets closer, it gets a little bit repetitive and I don't really like the direction it goes. Obviously it, it, it works well as a Terradius, which is why I'm not giving it lower than a three, but I do think that it could have been a little bit more interesting. And I, I do wish they took a little bit more of the like iconic Stranger Things theme sounds and put them into his close terror radius, if that makes sense. But of course, menu music is a five, like undoubtedly the best menu music in the entire game. It is so good. It's so good. I like, I don't, I don't like, I just don't see how anyone can disagree with me. I absolutely love this menu music. hands down the best menu music in the entire game. And then for chase music, I'm going to give this a three as well. Again, like it works as chase music, but it's, it's a little bit too much in a sense. And I kind of wished it was more alien feeling, if that makes sense. Cosmetics, I'm unfortunately going to give this a two. I don't like his cosmetics at all. Like we have this, which is Anyway, I think this is the best one, but they're all like, they don't really change the look of the character that much. So it's just kind of bland and it's a little bit boring, but at least they have cosmetics. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give this a four. The way he just literally monches on their head and shakes them around is so brutal. And I love the fact that you can hear their scream become muffled because it's inside of his head. I, it's great. It's, it's kind of funny to be honest, but it does fit the character and the animalistic nature of the Demogorgon. So this totals him him at 31 points, which places him at the bottom of the S tier. All right, moving on to the Oni. Appearance absolutely is going to be a five, like one of the coolest, most intimidating looking killers. And if you've seen some videos in the past, you know that I love Japanese things and the, the way they look and everything about it. So he just, he looks awesome. His mask is intimidating. He works as this big, beefy boy that's just there to ruin your day. You know what I mean? Animations, gotta give this a four. The way he becomes enraged with all of the glowing red eyes and the and the blood and all of the red coming out of him, very, very cool. I love the way that when he hits a survivor, he just flicks the blood off of his sword. It works so well for his character where he just, he does not care at all. Like, look at that. When he goes into his enraged form, like, how fire is that? It is so sick. It is so sick. Sound design, obviously a five. Like it's, it's, it's some of the most, I, it's so, it's so good. His screams are intimidating. They're deep. They're scary. The sound of his katana hitting the survivors sounds awesome. The kind of godlike war sounds that he has when he, you know, when he gets his power, everything about it just makes this killer feel so intimidating and just feels like a absolute powerhouse. Terror radius, I'm giving this a five as well. Probably my favorite terror radius in the entire game. Not only does it work well just as a terror radius to begin with, it also fits his character really well because it sounds like war drums and it's intense and it's intimidating. And when he gets close, it's really, really vibrant and really in your face. Phenomenal terror radius. His menu music is going to be a three, unfortunately. It's good, don't get me wrong. It just doesn't have kind of the character that I'm looking for in these menu musics, if that makes sense. Like, yes, it's good, which is why it's a three, but I kind of wish it was more aggressive because that that would fit the Oni a bit better.
like, yeah, it has kind of the Japanese instruments, but to me, it doesn't scream intimidation that much, which I feel like is an important thing to have with this killer. Chase music, gonna give it a four. I do kind of wish that the chase music also sounded more intimidating. I think honestly, if they just pitched it down a bit, it would actually work pretty well because the high pitched drums just don't, they don't really sound intimidating to me. Like the regular terror radius music is scary, but then when you get up to the chase music, it's just like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's too high pitched for me. And we associate deep things with scary scary things, so. I think if they pitch it down a little bit, it, it would have worked better in my opinion, but it's still fire. So I got to give it a four. Cosmetics, going to give it a three. I actually am not a huge fan of his cosmetics. He kind of suffers from the plague issue where a lot of them just look so similar. There, there's not like a lot of differences. Like there is, but there's so much clutter and there's so much going on that it's not easy to tell what is happening, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. I really like this one and I really like this, but most of them are just kind of, kind of the same thing as the default in my opinion. So they're not bad by any means, but I wish there was stuff that absolutely completely changed him. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give it a four. It's a little simple, but it's so brutal, which works perfectly. The way he stabs it through your body into the ground. So your body is just like there and he pulls it out of you and just bashes you multiple times, even though you're clearly already dead. That, that's the Oni for you. He's just this absolute beast, this absolute devil. And I don't tend to like when things are violent just for the sake of being violent, but I think with him, it just makes sense. You know, it just makes sense. So this totals him at 33 points, which puts him in the number one spot, the best aesthetic killer in the entire game. Okay, moving on to the Deathslinger. The Deathslinger's appearance is pretty good. I'm going to give it a three. I, he's a little bit too human for me, but he does give that creepy cowboy vibe. I don't really know what else they could have done with, you know, a Western cowboy killer, but I think they could have made him a little bit creepier and it would have been a bit better. For animations, I'm going to give this a three as well. I really like all of the gun animations. I think they're fluid and I think they work very well together. This was kind of the first time they did a reload animation and they did it very well. So props to them for that. The reeling animation, of course, is satisfying and all of the shooting animations just they, they just work but they're nothing above and beyond which is kind of like the chainsaw effect where you can't really go wrong with a gun if that makes sense sound design i'm gonna give this a four hearing the shots from across the map is very intimidating kind of like hearing the blast from doctor or the screams from nurse and the the puncture sound of when the spear goes into the survivor is very satisfying i think they did a great job at really telling you that you hit the survivor and all the reeling sounds are cool for this gun and of course his laugh to be honest, any killer with a laugh just gives them so much more character and just kind of brings up their points a bit. For the terror radius, I'm going to give it a four. I think it's one of the better terror radiuses, but not to the point where it's absolutely amazing. I think it's about honestly the best that they can do. I just don't personally like it as much as some of the other ones that have five. I don't really know exactly why, exactly what it is, but it's still a phenomenal terror radius. For menu music, I'm going to give this a three. The reason I'm giving it a three and not a four is because I'm not a huge fan of the beginning. But as the music goes on, later in the music, it gets kind of in a deeper tone and deeper pitch, which I think works a lot better for this killer. It kind of sucks that all of the good sections of the, the menu music tend to be at the end of a lot of these ones. And I wish there were more at the beginning because I would I would like to listen to those sections a, a lot more because most people are just going to ready up and start the game. They're not going to be sitting in the main menu to hear that stuff. For chase music, I'm going to give this a four. It is one of the better chase musics for sure. It, it, it fits the Western theme. And although it's a little bit repetitive and a little bit hard to listen to sometimes, it still works very well as chase music and it, it gets the job done.
Cosmetics, I'm going to give a three. There's nothing too bad I have to say about them. What in the world is this? They're a little bit boring in my opinion. I like, I, I think they fit. Like, I think they all fit. Don't get me wrong. It's just like different clothes. I wish they did more unique things like this with the Deathslinger. Like, I, I, I wouldn't buy this, but I think it's so cool that they actually, you know, change the way he looks. I do like the fact that the guns change pretty drastically. I just wish the shape of it changed a bit more because I think that'd be a bit more interesting. And then for his Mori, gotta give it a four. Like, it is probably one of the most brutal Moris in the entire game. The way he lifts you up and spears right through your mouth, like, oh, it's it's gross just thinking about it. It's it's exactly what I wanted out of a Deathslinger Mori. It's unfortunate that it's a little bit basic because he just stabs them, picks them up, shoots them, and then drops them, but it's still so brutal, and it, it's totally, like, it's totally the Deathslinger. It screams the Deathslinger's character. So this totals him at 28 points, which places him in the middle of the A tier, our first A tier killer. I don't know if you can tell, but I am losing my voice because I am doing this all in one take, which was probably a bad idea now that I think about it. Okay, moving on to the Executioner. For appearance, I'm going to give him a five. Just like Oni, he is one of the most intimidating killers in the game. And I think the intimidation factor is one of the reasons why killers feel cinematic to play against, if that makes sense. Just the way that he is so massive and just just strong, it just it's, it's scary, honestly. For animations, I'm going to give it a four. I think the way he swings his sword to make all of the torment stuff come out of the ground is very cool. The animation of the caging and all of that stuff, the torment animations, the, the trail that follows you, it's all very, very cool. And the way he walks is so intimidating, the way he just drags a sword along the ground. So I, I love all the animations on this killer. For sound design, got to give this a four as well. Um, it it kind of goes hand in hand with the animations. Everything that he does sounds super satisfying. His M2 ability, him dragging the sword in the ground, even just him walking walking with a sword trailing behind him. It's all super intimidating and very satisfying, especially when you hit a survivor. It's super, super satisfying. You'll notice that the scores tend to be higher if the sound effects are satisfying because it, they, they just feel good to play, if that makes sense. Terror Radius, gonna give this a four. I love his Terror Radius. It sounds almost like a ticking clock, which, you know, obviously with Midwitch, there's a clock and I assume that clocks are very prevalent in Silent Hill because it seems to be a, a, a recurring theme. But yeah, the ticking clock makes it sound like you know, you don't have a lot of time before he gets to you. So I do like that a lot. Menu music, I'm going to give a three. Similar to Oni, I don't really think it fits the aesthetic of this killer. Like, yeah, it might fit the Silent Hill aesthetic as a whole, but I kind of wish he was more pushed in the direction of Pyramid Head's character itself. It's also a little too basic for my liking, but it's not bad by any means, which is why I'm giving it a three. Chase music is also going to get a four. It has like kind of all of the elements of the terror radius, but more. So, you know, I'm going to give it the, the same score. Cosmetics, unfortunately, are going to be a three. It's very similar to Demogorgon, where they're not that great and there's not that many of them, but I think they change him a lot more than Demogorgons do. You know, the Blighted one doesn't change him that much, but I think this one especially is so sick. So that absolutely brings up the points. And this one's okay. I like the sword. I don't like the skin itself, but I do really like the sword. So although he doesn't have that many cosmetics, I think they're overall relatively high quality, which is why I'm giving him a three. I do wish there were more though. And then for his Mori, he does have two Moris and they're both pretty solid. So I'm going to give him a three. I actually think his mini Mori is better than the other one in the sense that it's more satisfying to pull off. And it just feels like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just whoop. the main Mori though is still pretty cool. And the fact that he like lifts them up with that, I don't even know what it is, that metal bits is pretty cool. But the Mori itself is a little basic besides that. He just sticks his knife in and turns it, and that's kind of about it. So I wish there was a little bit more to that. This totals him at 30 points, which places him at the very bottom of S tier. Moving on to the Blight. For appearance, gonna give this a four. I think they did a great job at um, turning this character that's been in the lore for a while into an actual killer. I love the way he's very clearly on drugs. <laughs> like he's very, very clearly on drugs. He twitches, he's like, ugh, it's like gross to look at. And I love the way his jaw 
is just hanging down from his face. I just wish they did a little tiny bit more. I think if they did a little bit tiny more with his clothing or with kind of the gross, like bulging, blighted stuff on his skin, I think if they added a little bit more of that, it would be definitely a five. But for being as basic as he is, I think they did a great job. His animations are going to be a four as well. There's absolutely nothing wrong with any of them. I especially like the first person animations, the way he sprints and the way he like lifts his cane and stuff. It all, it all feels very smooth and very fluid. And even from the survivor's perspective, him sprinting towards you and bumping on these walls and all of that stuff and stabbing himself with the blighted serums and compounds or whatever, whatever they are. It's really, really interesting. And I, and I love the fact that they included him stabbing himself with the syringe as a part of his power. Sound design, absolutely going to give this a five. They did a phenomenal job at making him sound human, but animalistic and kind of zombie-ish in a way. And, and he just sounds creepy and insane and energetic all at the same time. And I love the syringe sound. All of it's very satisfying and, and adds a lot to its character. Terror Radius, going to give this a three. I really like the beginning of the Terror Radius music, but as it goes on, when they start to add the like high-pitched strings or whatever they are, I think that kind of takes away from it a bit. I give it a three purely because of the beginning section, but as a whole package, I can't, I don't think I can put it any higher. Menu music, I am also going to give a three. I do really like it. I think it, similar to Plague and Spirit, it has that somber feeling of like something clearly went wrong with this character, which is exactly, you know, that's what he is. But I do wish there was a bit more, like I'm looking for a bit more with it and it doesn't have the DVD melody in it unless I just missed it, but I didn't, I don't recall hearing the DVD melody in it. So I think if they took kind of the theming of the the current one and mixed it with that DBD theme, it could be a little bit more interesting. Chase music, I'm going to give this a three as well. Again, nothing really bad about it, but nothing really good about it. Just very similar to the Terror Radius music. For cosmetics, I am going to give this a three as well. I don't actually think a lot of his cosmetics are that great. Uh, most of them are just gross and I'm not huge into the gross horror, but you know, there's some that are good. Like I like this shirt a lot or this body, I guess, since it's both shirt and legs, but really like, I don't like most of these cosmetics, but I do think objectively that they're, you know, very detailed and well-designed. And I especially like the different types of canes. Like that is sick. That is so fire. Um, there are a couple ones. I, I really like this very simple gold and white one. This one is very cool. So there are a lot of good elements about like the individual parts of each skin, but as a whole package, I'm not a huge fan, which is why I'm giving it only a three. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give this a two. This might be a bit of a hot take, but I don't, I feel like there was much more interesting things that he could have done in his Mori besides just stabbing them and then just watching them as they bubble up. Like it's, it's not bad by any means. Like, yeah, it's really simple, but it still uses his power in a very interesting and unique way. I do think that there could have been a couple more things implemented to make it a little bit more interesting. So this totals him at 27 points, which places him in the B tier. Moving on to the twins. For appearance, I'm going to give the twins a three. They're a little too basic for my liking, but I do really like Victor and how he's like integrated as a part of her body, literally. It's super gross and super creepy. And it's a, it's a very creative way of having two killers at once, if that makes sense. Animations, I'm going to give this a three as well. There's not a lot of interesting animations, but the reason it has a three is because of Victor and having him come out of your body and back into your body. Those animations are pretty sick, but there's not much else besides that that would, you know, bring up the points. Sound design, actually, I'm going to give a four. The sound design is phenomenal. I love it. Like, not just with Victor, but like, I think my favorite specific sound effect of this killer is when she releases Victor from the survivor's perspective. I don't even know what to call it, but you, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. It is one of my favorite sound effects in this entire game. It's so cool. And then, of course, Victor, like, yeah, his sound effects are annoying, but it, it, it fit it fits him it it works very well for a tiny little annoying thing 
for her terror radius, I'm going to give this a five. I think this is probably the best terror radius in the game, if not one of the best. It starts off slow and kind of has a heartbeat to it. But as it picks up, as she gets closer, you start to hear like kind of almost, it almost sounds like the screams of children, which is really creepy. And the, the fast, like violent sounds makes it feel very uneasy and intense. I absolutely adore it. I think they did a phenomenal job with this terror radius. Super, super awesome. And then for menu music, I'm going to give this a four. I think this is like just a better version of clowns menu music. Like it's kind of the same instruments and stuff, but I just think it's overall better. The reason it's not a five though is because I also don't really see how it fits the twins that much. Like, yeah, it fits the time period, but I wish it kind of had more of like their personality integrated into it, if that makes sense. Just like what I've been talking about with other killers. Chase music is going to be a four as well. It's literally just the tear radius with drums. It is a little bit repetitive and kind of not that unique, which is why I didn't give it a five, even though I gave the tear radius a five. But overall, I love this chase music. For her cosmetics, I'm going to give this a two. I think she has very, very bad cosmetics and she doesn't have that many of them. They're okay for sure. Actually, I really like this, um, this weapon here, but most of the cosmetics just don't, they don't really change her that much to be honest. But I will say I do like that, but I will say I do like that the weapons completely change. Like you can have a shovel or you can have the default one, or you can have, I guess these are antlers or like these hook things. So overall, like not terrible, but there's, I, I just wish there was a bit more. And then lastly, her Mori, or should I say Mori's because she's two of them, still going to give it a two. Like I'm giving one point for each Mori, but they're so basic. They're so unbelievably basic. Like her regular Mori without Victor is just her hitting the survivor a couple times, just like the OG killers. But with Victor, it's a bit better because, you know, they kind of have an interaction with each other. And then he, he kind of like, he asks permission to go beat up the survivor, which is kind of funny. But then when he gets on the survivor, he just like tears at them a bit and then that's it. So nothing totally interesting. So that totals them at 27 points, which places them in the middle of the B tier. Moving on to the Trickster. Trickster's whole aesthetic is very hotly debated. So we're probably going to have extremely differing opinions on this. He He's grown on me. Like at first, I, I didn't really like him. I didn't hate him, but I didn't like him that much, but he's definitely grown on me. So I'm going to give his appearance a three. He's a little bit too human for my liking, but he does still have that sadistic nature, kind of like the doctor. I love the colors, but the reason it's not higher is because I don't think his aesthetic fits very well in DVD. I think the the vibe of him being a sadistic artist is cool, and I think that fits DVD, but I don't think the actual appearance of him fits very well, if that makes sense. Animations, gotta give it a four. The way he flips his bat around when he hits a survivor is absolutely astonishing. It's so cool. Not as good as Clown's animation, but it's still really cool, and him throwing the knives, like, you know, it's whatever. But the reason I don't have it as a five, like I did with a Clown, is because I don't like the way he runs. I don't think the way he runs fits his character. It kind of looks goofy and I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know. It's a, it's just a little, it's, it's just a little goofy looking. Sound design, gotta give it a five. I actually think he has some of the best sound design in the entire game with the knives hitting, with the screech sound when they're on their last knife. But the reason I have it so high is because when you play as this killer, the dynamic sound design of this killer is unlike any other killer in this game. Like what, if you play this killer, you'll see what I mean. I absolutely appreciate the sound design that went into this character 
character because like you'll hear him breathing faster as you start to walk faster and he'll slow down his breath when you stop and you know he laughs and he and he has so many different voice lines like he has so much personality and character and human elements in his character that are that just feel so dynamic to what's happening in the game I, I think they did a great job with that and for those of you that play the trickster you know exactly what I'm talking about also I really like the kind of twangy sound of when he runs out of his main event I for some reason that's just like a really satisfying sound to me terror radius gotta give this a two I like it when he's really far away that kind of rumble it almost feels like there's music playing while you're underwater I think that's phenomenal which is why it's not a one But as he gets closer, it's just kind of unbearable to listen to. Like, I just, I hate it. Like, it's like nails on a chalkboard. It's just hard. It's just hard to listen to. For as many music though, I'm going to give it a five. It's just like a K-poppy, hip-hoppy feeling version of the main DVD theme. And I think they did a phenomenal job with it. And obviously it fits his character because that's, you know, what he is as a killer. But it's it's just upbeat and it is it is the one time that they can get away with an upbeat, lighthearted menu music. And then his chase music is also going to be a two just for all of the same exact reasons as his terror radius. Cosmetics, I'm actually going to give this a four. There are a lot of cosmetics that are very, very cool and they don't come in sets too. So they, they kind of match a lot of different things, which is nice, but there's a lot of variety. There's a lot of different color palettes that you can go. This one is by far his best cosmetic, in my opinion. Awesome, awesome stuff. Very cool color schemes. I even like his recolors a lot and they, they completely changed the feeling of this character. Some incredible cosmetics. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give it a three. I think it's interesting the way he uses his power and the way he he kind of shows his magic trick, so to speak, where he, you know, launches one knife in the air at the beginning of the Mori. And then at the end of the Mori, it finally comes down and lands. And then he throws his like autographed card or whatever it is on the survivor, which is kind of cool. Like it has a lot of his personality, but it's the, the Mori itself is just kind of, I wish there was a bit more that played on the trickster element of him. So that's going to bring his score to a total of 28, which puts him at the bottom of a tier. The next killer is the nemesis. I have very conflicting feelings about the nemesis. He has the intimidation factor of something like Pyramid Head or Oni, but he looks so goofy that it takes away all of that intimidation. So I have to give his appearance a three. He's definitely grown on me. I probably would have given it a one or a two back in the day when he came out because I just don't, I don't like the way he looks and I don't know any of the lore because I haven't played Resident Evil 3, but it's, you know, he's fine. Like he's, he's very middle of the road for me and he looks very similar to what he does in the game. So I'm just, I gotta give him a three. Animations, I'm going to give this a three as well like he has cool animations with his tentacle and stuff but his running animation and his punching animation is so goofy I, like i can't i can't describe it you you all i'm sure you all know exactly what i'm talking about he just he's goofy like he is not intimidating in the slightest and a big part of that is because of his animations but to be fair nothing in resident evil has ever been scary like i've not seen one thing from resident evil that's that's scary so it's just not really what they're going for sound design also going to give us a three there's nothing really special about it but you know they they didn't do a bad job by any means like the tentacle sound is good the spray sound of when you're infected is good there's not a lot to him i mean the sound effects of the zombies is good but like you can't really go wrong with any of that stuff he has a punch sound he has a tentacle sound he has a spray can sound and he has zombie sounds like you can't go wrong with that like anybody can make that good you know terror radius also gonna give it a three i actually don't mind his terror radius at all i think it fits the vibe but the reason it's so low is because i wish it was more intimidating he's supposed to be this big giant I assume genetically modified killer and his his terror radius just doesn't feel like that at all like it's not intimidating in the slightest but it's also like a good terror radius and it's not hard to listen to and it, it works well as a terror radius but I do wish there was a bit more character in it.
And the same thing goes with the menu music. So I'm also going to give this a three. Although I will say that I think the menu music now listening to it again fits the character perfectly. It has that horror action feeling in the music, which is exactly what Resident Evil is. But I just don't personally think that horror and action mix at all. So it just it just clashes for me, which is why I'm not a huge fan of it. But objectively, it does fit his aesthetic. So that's why I'm giving it a three at least. Chase music, I'm going to give this, what do you know, a three. It's fine. Like, it's good. It's a little repetitive, a little bit hard to listen to, but it's not bad at all. And I, I kind of have the same feelings as the, as the terror radius. Cosmetics, gotta give it a one. Like, he has, what, one cosmetic? Yeah. And it's just the blighted skin. And then for his Mori, I'm actually quite disappointed with his Mori. I'm gonna give it a two. It's super basic. There was a lot more that he could do with his tentacle stuff, or it could have just been a lot more brutal, but he just like stomps you twice and just like tentacles you once. So I just, I wish there was a bit more. A, a little tiny bonus point for the fact that he says stars when he's killing a stars member, but very, very boring Mori. So that gives him a total of 21 points, which places him at the very bottom of the C tier. The next killer we have is Pinhead. Appearance, gotta give this a three. I don't really care for the look of him, but I do think he actually fits the DBD aesthetic pretty well. And I do like the pinhead. Like I do, I, I enjoy the head of him. Um, but other than that, just kind of basic. Animations though, undoubtedly a five. Like some of the coolest, most unique animations we've had in DBD. The fact that he does everything with chains is awesome. Breaking pallets and doors with chains, picking up survivors with chains. All of his animations are so fluid and so cool. And even just like picking up the box and solving it, like amazing, amazing animations. And the same goes with the sound design. Very, very, very good sound design. The way the chains hit things, the way the box sounds, the way you teleport, his voice lines, it all comes together to make a really cool killer. But I don't think it's as unique as I would like it to be, which isn't necessarily a bad thing for this killer because I don't really know how much else you could do with it. But as you'll see with some killers later on this list, which have a five for sound design, they just have very, very unique sounds that, that work pretty well. I just don't think that the sounds are as satisfying as I would like them to be. For Terror Radius, I'm going to give this a four. I actually quite like the high-pitched strings at the beginning of the Terror Radius. But once he's close to you, that's where it kind of falls off for me. So that's why it's not a five. But I very, very much enjoy those uneasy feeling high pitched strings. I am a sucker for strings in pretty much any piece of media. So if there's any music with strings, it's 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 probably going to be higher up. Menu music, going to give it a three. I, I think it's good. It's solid. It does fit him aesthetically, I would say, but it's just not really my cup of tea. I do like that they integrated the DVD melody into it, but it's just overall not totally interesting in my personal opinion. Chase music, also a three. Again, it's where the terror radius kind of loses me. It's kind of just a bit more of that. It definitely hits harder than the end of that terror radius, but still it's, it's, it's a little hard to listen to. Cosmetics, gotta give it a one. He has, what, two cosmetics and they're both trash in my opinion. I actually don't really mind this one, but like, I don't, I do not care about this. Uh, they're just not that great. <laughs> and then we have his Mori, which is where he redeems himself because his Mori is one of the coolest things that we have in the game. The way he like pulls their face apart is so unique to this character. And we've never seen anything like that in DVD. And I love that he just brings them into the ground and they just disappear. Like they're gone from the map. Such a cool and creative way of of morying a survivor. I love it a lot. So that brings him to a total of 28 points, which places him at the middle of A tier. Okay, moving on to the artist. Appearance, undoubtedly is a five. Such a cool and unique design for a killer where they have like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like ink mixed with bird. It's such a unique combination of things. And I love the way that the ink drips from her eyes and her mouth. It, it just, it, it's so sick. It's so sick. And then animations, of course, 
also a five. The way her weapon molds as though it's like ink being slashed and her birds and her crows and the twitching of her neck that makes her look like an actual bird. I'll see if it, I'll see if it does it. Yeah, right there. It's so unique and it's so interesting. Very, very good. Sound design, like I gotta do it. I gotta do it got to give her a five. Her and Nurse have a very similar sound design where it's kind of this, this painful screeching. And I remember specifically, I have a video of it on my channel somewhere, but I remember specifically playing on this PTB when Artist came out and she was so scary. I was actually scared. Like that was the first time I had felt genuine terror was playing against this killer, not knowing anything about her. Cause I used to go into it, not knowing anything and hearing her screeches and the sounds of the crows crossing the map and hitting survivors. It, it's like, it's so good. It's like a mix between crow screams and human screams. Very, very good sound design. Terror Radius, gotta give it a three. I like it before she gets close to you. I like the subtlety and the kind of droning sounds before it reaches the point where she's actually very much near you. Then it gets a little bit hard to listen to. So I'm not a huge fan of that, which is why I'm giving it a three. Menu music, I actually really enjoy. I, I love this menu music, so I'm gonna give it a four. But the reason I'm not giving it a five is because, again, I like when the menu music has a lot of the personality of the killer integrated into it. So if I recall correctly, she has kind of a sad backstory. So I wish that was a part of the music itself, but it's still a really unique sounding menu music. For her chase music, I'm going to give this a two. It's honestly a bit painful. <laughs> it's a bit painful to listen to. I'm not personally a huge fan of it. The high pitched screeching sounds are just like, ugh. it's uneasy, but not in a good way. Cosmetics though, I'm actually going to give this a four. I don't think they're amazing, but there's a lot of very unique aspects about them, which make them very good. I like the way that she completely changes, especially like this, like that is so sick and so creepy. But one of the main reasons why she has such a high score is because her weapon completely changes. Like her weapon completely changes depending on the skin that you're using, which I really like. I think they could do a bit more with it to make it a bit more unique. I definitely think that she has some very, very solid outfits and even her recolors are pretty sick. Like this black one is fire. This icy one is fire. Awesome, awesome stuff. And then for her Mori, I'm going to give this a four. I love the way that she kind of implants a bird into the survivor's stomach and then it just comes out of their stomach and then a bunch of crows swarm the survivor. Like very unique, a great way to integrate her power and all of the crow kind of theming of her into the Mori. I just wish there was a little tiny bit more to it and that would bump it up to a five, but still very, very cool. Definitely one of the better Moris in the game. So this totals her at 32 points, placing her in the final spot in the S tier. All right, moving on to the Onryo. Appearance, I'm just gonna give her a three. There's not much special about her. It's just like a girl in like a nightgown, I assume is what that's supposed to be. I do like the hair though. I think it gives her a creepy vibe and obviously she's an iconic character, so. Can't give anything lower than a three, but nothing too special. Animations though, I'm absolutely giving this a five. I think she arguably has the best animations in the entire game. The fact that she does everything kind of with her mind is so sick. She gets bonus points for this intro sequence where she, you know, crawls out of the well. <sighs> She gets bonus points for that, which I completely forgot about. I love the way she crawls out of the TV when she teleports. The breaking pallet animation and breaking wall animations are so cool. The way she glitches with static, everything about it is super, super cool. Some of the most unique animations we have seen in this game to date. Sound design, again, also gonna give it a five. Sound design and animations tend to go very hand in hand because usually the more unique the animations are, the more unique the sound design is. And I think that absolutely is the case with the Onryo. The staticky sound effects of her and the, the sound that she makes when she swings, it's so, so cool. It's very satisfying. The teleport sounds, all of it is really, really satisfying. For her terror radius, I'm gonna give this a four. I love this terror radius. I think it does a great job at building suspense as she gets closer and closer. And then it brings in the strings. Like I said, I like strings. I'm a sucker for strings. So you can't go wrong with this terror radius.
I don't think it's that unique, which is why I didn't give it a five, but I, I, it has to be a four, like no doubt in my mind. Menu music though, I am going to give a three. I don't think it's bad necessarily. There's just, there's not a lot to it that's different from like the main DVD theme, if that makes sense. They kind of just changed the instruments used. It's it's kind of lacking creativity in a sense, but it's it's obviously not bad by any means. For her chase music though, I'm giving this a four. It's very much just an additional step in the terror radius. And I tend to like when they do that, unless the terror radius is annoying, of course, but it, it kind of sounds like Flight of the Bumblebee, if any of you know what that is, which is, which is a little funny. So having that in your mind just kind of doesn't help the case for this killer because it kind of takes away from the scary aspect of her. But it's a really cool chase theme, and it's pretty unique compared to a lot of the other chase themes that tend to be just like drums and stuff. For her cosmetics, gotta give it a two. Like, they're not that awful. Like, this one's cool. I like the way it completely changes her, but there's only two of them, and they're just, they're not really anything that special. One thing I will say, which is why I'm not giving it a one, is I love the fact that her cosmetics change the color of her, like, symbol when she hits, and changes the actual symbol itself to represent something else. I could be wrong about that, but I believe it says, like, a different word. So it's, it's, it's really cool. I like the fact that it can turn red or green or whatever. I don't even remember, but very cool touch. And then for Hamori, gotta give it a three. I absolutely love the fact that it like snaps their bones. I think it's such a unique thing and it's, you know, we don't have any other killer that does that. So that's awesome, but it's nothing else besides that, if that makes sense. Like she just lifts them up in the air, does that, and it's pretty brutal. And that's about it. So it's definitely good. I like the snapping bones thing, but it's still like not much to it. So I wish there was a little bit more. So that totals her at 29 points, which places her at the very top of the A tier. Moving on to the dredge. For appearance, I'm going to give this guy a four. I really like the appearance of most original DVD killers because they, they can be very creative with it and what they do with it. It's a blob of everything. There's so much of it that's just like gross and weird. And I love the kind of black fog and stuff that comes out of the black fog. I think that's a very interesting thing that I haven't really seen before. I will say the only reason why it's not five is because of the main head. I think the, the main head itself just looks goofy and isn't scary at all. I think if they changed that to something a little more interesting, it would have definitely been a five. But other than that head, it's super awesome. Animations though, gonna give it a three. There's not really that much that's interesting with it besides the stuff that comes out of his body when he does certain interactions. There's just not a lot of unique stuff with him. And with him looking like this, I feel like there's so much more that they could do with it. So I was just overall a little tiny bit disappointed with, with the animations, but they still work very well for the killer. I love the way that when he teleports, it like turns into this black mist. Sound design though, obviously gotta give it a five. Like such cool sound design with the kind of crying sounds almost. They're almost, they're not really crying sounds. They're just like agony sounds. I don't know how to describe it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like when he swings and when he is in his nightfall, all of those sounds just give him such a cool, unique, interesting feeling of playing against him and playing as him. Very, very cool sound design. Terror radius, gotta give this a four. Of course, I like the beginning more because it's subtle and it, it has kind of that droning sound. But when it gets to the close tear radius, I actually think this is one of the few killers where the high pitched timbre like actually works. He's like this weird creature and that instrument does definitely help amplify that kind of personality of him. Menu music, I'm going to give this a three. It gets points for having the character's personality built into it, but overall, it's just a little bland. It's a little bit too... It's kind of like the Onryos, where it's just very similar to the default soundtrack with very minor changes, but it's not bad by any means, so that's why I'm giving it a three. Chase music, I am giving a four. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty controversial because it's pretty repetitive and a little bit hard to listen to, but I actually think this is the one time I can appreciate that for this killer. I think it keeps up the pacing of this killer because if the chase music was slower, this killer would feel very, very boring because he is a pretty slow paced killer. So I like that they have a faster paced chase music.
And then for cosmetics, gonna give it a three. One thing I can appreciate about the cosmetics is they completely change it. What in the world is going on here? That is insane. <laughs> but I like that they completely change the way he looks. Like he's a horse here. He's a weird alien creature here. He's dolls here. I love that about him. And I think that's a very creative way of, you know, pushing the boundaries of cosmetics. But those are like the only cosmetics besides his recolors, which are pretty trash. Granted, they are all very unique and very cool. There's just not many of them. So I, I, so I can't really give it more than a three. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give it a three as well. It's super, super basic, but I really like that it's not him that kills them. It's the hands that come out of the fog. I think it's super unique. It fits his character very well. I just wish there was more to it. There's a lot more I think that they could have done, but sucking the survivor into him, like into his black smoke is so cool. I love when survivor's bodies completely disappear in Mori's, and this is probably one of the better ways of doing it. Because like, where do they go? They're just gone. It's like they got sucked into a black hole. It's insane. So that gives him a total of 29 points points, which places him at the top of the A tier. All right, next up on the list is the Mastermind. Appearance, gotta give him a two. He does not fit DVD at all. He's just a dude. Like he, I don't, I don't like, I don't like the way he looks. Honestly, just anything Resident Evil besides like the, um, the like three sisters or whatever they are from the, the, the Lady D game, like those are fire, but everything else from Resident Evil just, it just looks too human for me. And I don't, I don't really like it personally. So this is just a regular dude. Like there's, there's nothing special to it. Animations though are pretty decent. I think they did a good job with the tentacle. Like it's, it's really gross. That is sick when he does that in the lobby. So yeah, all of the tentacle animations are cool, but I don't have it that high because A, there's not much to it. And B, I hate the way he runs. I'm pretty sure he runs in the same exact way as Trickster and it just looks goofy. Like it, it just looks, it doesn't look human at all. <laughs> I don't like it. Sound design, gotta give this a four. You can't really go wrong with tentacle sound design, but I also just like the quips that he makes with his voice lines though. So that definitely brings it up for me. Terror radius, I'm going to give it a three. This one's actually the opposite where I, I like it better when he's closer because it has more drums and less of that screeching sound. But overall, it's not really anything special. So that's why I'm giving it a three. Menu music, however, I am giving a four. This is another one of those menu musics where it just gets better as time goes on and the beginning isn't my favorite. It's still a good menu music and I think they do the, the action horror better in this one than they do in the Nemesis one. Chase music, gotta give this a three. Very similar reasons for the terror radius. It's very different than the terror radius, so it just, it doesn't smoothly blend. And it's just kind of weird. Like, I don't, I don't personally really like it, but it's not bad. It's, it's different. It's not that repetitive. It's much more melodic than a lot of the chase themes, which is why I'm giving it a three. Cosmetics, gotta give it a two. Like, I wouldn't even mind dropping this to a one, but I'm just gonna give it a two. The only reason I'm giving it a two is purely because of this one and the knife. Like, the knife looks so freaking sick. But other than that, there's just not, there's just not much to him. And then for his Mori, gonna give it a three. Super, super basic, but at least it uses his power in an interesting way. It gets a bonus point for having the survivor punch him. <laughs> like, that is so funny. But other than that, there's just not much to it. So this totals him at 24 points, bringing him at the top of C tier. Moving on to the knight. Appearance, gotta give him a four. Like, this is probably about the best that they could do with a medieval killer. It's intimidating and it's cool looking. It's just a great way of creating a knight without making it look too basic, you know? Like, I love the chains around him and the spikes on his shoulder and the sword is such an interesting type of sword. Animations, though, I am gonna give this a three. I would have given it a four if it wasn't for the way he runs. I think the way he runs also makes him look goofy when he's supposed to be this big, giant, intimidating thing. But other than that, like the animations are pretty cool. He has so many different animations because he has so many different characters built into him. But overall, nothing like totally unique, nothing totally special. Sound design, gonna give it a four. The fact that it has sound design for all of the different types of characters is pretty sick. I love the horn sound effect that plays, the, the kind of medieval sound effects that play during specific events. And I really like the sound design of the sword itself. For the terror radius, I'm gonna give this a three. Absolutely, one of the 
best terror radiuses mixed with one of the worst terror radiuses at the same time. The beginning before he gets close to you is so cool. I love it and I would give it a five, but then when he gets close to you, it's just so hard to listen to and I, I just don't like it at all. It's so dissonant and it's just like, ugh. So I'm just giving it a middle of the road score of three, but man, before he gets close to you, it sounds really good. For the main menu music, I'm gonna give this a three as well. I think it's definitely unique, which is why I kind of like it, but it doesn't really match the aesthetic much in my opinion. Like again, he's supposed to be this intimidating thing and it doesn't, it doesn't feel powerful to me. And it also doesn't necessarily feel medieval either. Maybe I'd have to re-listen to it, but I, I don't know. I just don't really get, I don't really get the vibe that much, but it's not like a bad, Menu music by any means. Chase music, gonna be a three. It's about the most basic chase music that you can have, but it's not bad. It's just not good either. So I'm putting it right down the middle. And then for cosmetics, I'm gonna give this a two. He has like no cosmetics. He basically has this and this, and that's about it. The rest of them are just recolors. So like, they're not bad, but they're they're just, so, there's just none of them. <laughs> and then for his Mori, gotta give this a four. The way it has all of the characters do something different with him is very sick. And then the brutal stab through the chest at the end is so awesome. And it, it works really well for this killer. So definitely one of the better Moris in the game for sure. So this totals him at 26 points, placing him at the bottom of B tier. All right, moving on to the Skull Merchant. Appearance, gotta give her a two. Such a bland looking killer, but the weapon is the only reason why it has a two instead of a one. I think it is one of the coolest weapons in the entire game and having it from a first person perspective view, like it feels so cool. And that's that's part of the reason why the animations are going to be a three as well. Even though they're all so simple, all of her animations feel so smooth. Like when she stabs a survivor and then flicks their blood off, that is one of the most satisfying things in this game, I swear to God. And the drones are cool and unique to this killer. And the remote feels very smooth and fluid, which I really appreciate. But there's nothing totally unique that goes above expectations. So that's why it's not higher. Sound design, gotta give this a four. I actually think they did a great job of having mechanical sounds and technology sounds into her kit. It doesn't fit DVD, but like, oh well. I love all of the drone sounds. I think they work very well. And I don't know, there's, there's nothing really bad about them, but they're also unique, which is why they're not just a three. Terror radius, gotta give it a three. When she's far away, it sounds Sounds great. When she's kind of far away, it sounds awful because it has like these gear sounds and it totally ruins the entire thing. But then when she's close, it sounds great again. So that's why I'm giving it a three because that middle section is unbearable to listen to. I hate the mechanical whirring sounds, but the rest of it's actually pretty solid. Menu music, gotta give this a three as well. There's just kind of too much happening in my opinion, and it just switches to too many different things all at once, which makes sense for the character because she's like, she builds things and she's like mechanical and technological and stuff, but it's still, it, I don't really like the music that much, but it's, it's decent. For chase music, gonna give this a three as well. I like the fast-paced nature of it, but again, it's it's not that unique compared to the rest of the killers in the past, so I can't really argue a case for it being above that. Cosmetics, I'm gonna give this a three as well. I actually think that you could make a case for a four because they're all very unique and very different and they change her weapon drastically. That's the best part about it is all of her weapons change completely. I actually like her cosmetics way better than her base kit for sure, but there's only a few of them, which kind of sucks. The, this one's probably my favorite because I don't know, I like the color scheme and I like this weapon. And this one's probably my second favorite. Again, I like the color scheme and I love the mask. And this one's pretty decent too. This one's like, eh, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but yeah, honestly, 
actually pretty sick cosmetics, but I just can't give a higher score because she doesn't have that many, which, you know, she's a relatively new killer, so it makes sense, but still. And then for her Mori, gonna give it a two. It is so bland. I like the fact that the drone is in it, but the drone just doesn't really do much. It just scans the person. So I think there's a lot more that they could have done with this. They could have either gone the brutal route or gone the more technological route where she uses some technology to do something interesting, but she just kind of doesn't. This totals her at 23 points, putting her in the middle of C tier. Moving on to the singularity. Absolutely giving this a five for appearance. Such a cool, unique way of integrating technology with body gore. It's very creative and extremely unique. Animations, I'm going to give a four. All of the animations are super cool and super mechanical. I love the way that your weapon, when you hit someone, it has almost like a robotic glitching effect and the way all of his abilities and stuff in game look. It's all super cool and, and very, very sci-fi, which they were, you know, they definitely nailed that on the head. Sound design, also going to give it a four for pretty much, honestly, the same exact reasons. Like it, it just nails the sci-fi aspect. It feels mechanical, but it still feels like this alien creature. First hair radius sound though, gotta give this a three. Like, <sighs> This makes me so sad because I would have given him a five if it weren't for that stupid alarm sound that they have when he gets close to you. Like I get it thematically, but it completely ruins his terror radius. Everything else before that is so sick and probably is one of the best terror radiuses in the entire game. But that alarm that he has when he gets close to you is so annoying. It's it's so annoying. It makes me very mad. Menu music, gonna give this a four. I actually really like this menu music and I would have given it a five, but it is just a little bit too basic for me to give it a five. But I do I do definitely appreciate the the vibe it's going for. I also kind of wish that it had a little bit more of the sci-fi element to it. I don't think drums necessarily match, but I do like the music nonetheless. For chase music, gonna give it a three. Luckily, they removed that stupid alarm sound, but the, the chase music is still kind of repetitive and doesn't really sound great to listen to, but it's not, it's not terrible. It's very middle of the road. I could see an argument for it being a two, but I don't think it's bad enough for that. Cosmetics, gonna give this a two. There's like a couple that are pretty cool, but they're so cluttered that they just don't look that different. And he only has a few of them because he's new. So I can't really give a lot of points to him. And then for his Mori, I'm gonna give this a three. I, I like it. I like the fact that it does something unique by like blowing up their face essentially, but it's still, there's just still not a lot that happens, you know? It's super bland while having a really unique element to it. So it's kind of the best and the worst of Amori combined into one. Hence why it's getting a middle of the road score. This gives him a total of 23 points, which puts him in the A tier. All right, moving on to the Xenomorph. For appearance, I gotta give him a four. Like such a cool looking killer. Definitely fits DBD. And he's really intimidating as well. Animations also gonna give this a four. I don't think the animations in game necessarily are that crazy, but the things that he does as a part of his character, like what you just saw with him crawling down in the lobby and when he spawns into the trial and, you know, coming out of the tunnels and stuff. It's all very cool and fits the Xenomorph very well. So although he maybe has some relatively basic animations, he has a lot of animations that very much add to his personality and go kind of the extra mile. Sound design, got to give it a four as well. They completely nail the sound from the movies. And also the flame turret sounds are pretty satisfying as well. Like the beep -de boop, beep -de boop, beep -de boop. <laughs> Overall sound effects, pretty solid. I think there's a bit more that they probably could have done with it to make it just to step over that little edge to get it into a five, but definitely, definitely some good sound design. Terror Radius, gotta give it a three. It's not that bad, but I'm not a huge fan of it. It's definitely not hard to listen to. It's just like nothing really stands out to me, if that makes sense. So I'm just giving it a middle of the road score. For menu music, I'm going to give this a two. I don't like this menu music at all, but the only reason I'm not giving it a one is because it, it fits his character. Like it's very alien. It's very, it's like very creepy sci-fi, but I, it's just hard to listen to. Like, I just don't like the music itself. So that's why I'm getting into two.
Then we got the chase music, which I'm giving a three. It's not bad chase music, but it sounds so much like something we already have in DVD. So I can't give it higher than a three because it's it's just not it's just not that unique. It's very, very simple chase music and kind of follows the formula of chase music. And then for cosmetics, gotta give it a two. He only has a couple and it's it's kind of interesting how they completely change, but they're all just not that great in my opinion. They're all just kind of ugly. So I'm not a huge fan of them. This one's just straight up pay to lose because she's so freaking big. And then for his Mori, I'm gonna give it a three. It's very, very simple, but I love the intimidation of it when he gets close to the survivor's face. I think that perfectly encapsulates what the xenomorph is and how creepy he is, but there's nothing that really happens in the Mori, which is why it's not a higher score. So that totals him at 25 points, placing him at the top of C tier. All right, we're finally on to the last two killers in the game. Since we're on the alien, if you've made it this far, go drop an alien emoji in the comments below and like the video if you've been enjoying it. Moving on to the good guy. Appearance, I'm gonna give him a three. He looks great, like he looks like the doll in the movies, but I don't personally think he fits DVD that much, which is why I just can't go higher than a three. Animations, gonna give it a four. I actually like his animations quite a lot. They almost feel more dynamic because it's in third person. I don't really know how to describe it, but they don't feel like he has a specific animation for running and he has a specific animation for hitting. They all feel like he's actually there and present in the match doing whatever he feels like doing, if that makes sense. Also, he has cool lobby animations. So animations, pretty solid. Sound design, also pretty solid. Gonna give it a four. Mostly because of his voice lines. Like his voice lines absolutely carry this category. They're so funny. I think the comedy horror of him just it's so fun it's so fun on both the killer and the survivor side i absolutely love his voice lines it adds so much character to him but other than that like the sound design isn't you know anything special it's just a it's just a dude with a knife but i do appreciate that you can very clearly tell when he's using his power which is always a very nice feature of the sound design tear radius i'm gonna give this a three again i like it before it gets close it kind of has this um playful childlike feeling to it since he's so small and it, it, it works it works really well for Chucky, but as it gets later into the Terror Radius, when he gets closer, it just gets annoying. So just like a lot of the Terror Radiuses on this list, I have to give it a three. Menu music, gonna give it a five. Like, absolutely fire menu music. It, it's kind of like the better version of Blight's menu music in a way. It's just cool to listen to. I don't really know how to describe it. I don't necessarily think it fits Chucky all that much, which is the only reason I could see an argument for four, but the music itself is just so good that I, ha I have to give it a five. Chase music, however, I'm gonna give a three. The chase music is kind of weird. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I, I don't I don't really have many complaints. It's just not really my cup of tea, but I can appreciate it for being unique and not following the standard chase music formula. Then for cosmetics, I'm going to give it a three just because his cosmetics completely change his character, like literally completely changes it to the point where he has completely different voice lines. But there's only two cosmetics, so I just can't give it more than a three. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give his Mori a three as well. I know a lot of people like his Mori because he uses like a bunch of different stuff that I believe are references to how he kills people in the movies. But the Moris, they're just like, it's fine. Like there's not, there's just not much that he does in it, if that makes sense. Like it's a lot, but it's nothing at the same time. So this places him with a score of 28 at the bottom of A tier. And finally, for our last killer, this is the unknown. I'm honestly a bit disappointed with this killer. From the teasers, I thought he was going to be a lot scarier than he actually was, but he kind of just looks like a dude, just like a, a deformed dude. Um, So unfortunately, I'm going to give his appearance a two. I actually don't like his appearance at all. I think the only redeeming quality of his appearance is his smile and his face. I think it is super creepy and it works for that scare aspect, but 
but the rest of his body just he looks more goofy than he does scary and i was really hoping that dbd finally did a scary killer animations gonna give it a three again i was i just had higher expectations really i like his animations in the lobby i like the way he crawls i think the crawling is really cool but it's not utilized in his power so there's not much to it besides his like twitchy gross animations which are always a nice touch to make the killer feel a little bit creepier sound design gonna give it a three as well i have a love hate relationship with the sound design i really like the way he speaks and the way he kind of tries to imitate humans how it's almost like glitchy in a way and the sound effects of him with his power is fantastic i love the sound design of his power i could see an argument for it being a four because the sound design of him hitting a survivor with his ability is great and the teleport sound is super satisfying but other than those three things that i mentioned the rest of it's just kind of bland and i i was i was hoping for a bit more scare factor in him because he's supposed to be this super scary killer like they teased in all of the you know in all of the found footage teasers terror radius gonna give it a three i know i'm beating a dead horse here but before he gets close to you the terror radius sounds cool and it sounds gross and demented like he is but when he gets close to you it just completely ruins the terror radius so i'm giving it a three again Many music though, I'm unfortunately giving a two. It is just unbelievably awful to listen to. And the only reason it's not a one is because that is the character. Like he's supposed to be this weird, distorted, like creepy, unknown character. But the menu music, like I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't like the way that was implemented into the menu music itself because it's just so gross to listen to. Again, it's it's that nails on the chalkboard thing, but for the entire time. And then Chase Music, gonna give a three. It's nothing too special. It's just kind of an extension of his terror radius, but it's not necessarily bad, but I, I just don't, I'm not a huge fan of it. Cosmetics, I unfortunately have to give it a one because, you know, he's in the PTB. He doesn't even have cosmetics yet. I'm hoping he has some pretty sick cosmetics in the future, like when he actually is released. I have a feeling he's going to have some very cool cosmetics. So I absolutely could see my score on this changing because I think they're going to have a cosmetics that completely change the way he looks because he's just trying to mimic human beings. So he's probably going to have some ones where he, you know, switches gender and has different like demented aspects of his, you know, body. So I have, I have hope that he'll have some pretty sick cosmetics. And then for his Mori, I'm going to give this a four. It's such a cool Mori. I love the way he crawls up to you and stares at you. That was the best part of the Xenomorphs Mori is where they just stare at you for a second and it gives this really creepy vibe. And I love his crawling and I wish his crawling was integrated more into his power. But yeah, cool, very cool intro sequence to his Mori and then his like weird tentacle stuff coming out and just stabbing them in their face. Very cool, very creepy, but there's not much that happened. So that's why I'm not giving it a five. But of course, this gives him a score of 21, which places him in the last spot in the C tier. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my final tier list ranked by Aesthetic. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my list down below. And if you'd like tier lists, come check out this one you see on screen here.